So, paint in your bathroom. Things you're going to need, obviously, bathroom paint or waterproof paint anyway. Uh, it costs a little bit more, but it is water resistant and uh, also resistant against uh, mould, which is important because you don't want your bathroom paint going mouldy. Um, other things, obviously, you're going to need your rollers if you've got a big bathroom and a paint tray, which is the black thing underneath. Uh, got some spare rollers. Obviously you don't need the same brand paint, you can get any brand. Um, masking tape to go around edges of switches and things like that. Assortment of paint brushes. If you've got a really tall bathroom, you might need a big pole that you can shove into the bottom of your roller and then use that as an extended roller. And then you'll also need spare clothes, old clothes that you don't mind getting dirty and a dust mat of some description. I've got an old tablecloth there. Uh, uh, you may also need um, a bit of sandpaper or something like that to sand down some edges. You will also need to clean the walls beforehand to get rid of any stains because you don't want those showing through. The next thing you do is clean out your bathroom of all the stuff that's on the shelves and things like that. And if you have got any fittings, um, such as a toilet roll holder, and if I just move my camera, if I don't get tangled up. Also, things like a towel rack, you will notice underneath that they have a little screw about here, and you just need, for my case, a flathead screwdriver, a small one, unscrew that, take it off. I'm not going to bother with a mirror, because it's massive, and I'm just going to uh, keep that there and that will save on painting. With your blinds, my blind, you kind of push it and it pulls out and then you'll need to unscrew that fitting as well to clean behind there. Anyway, I'm not going to show you cleaning the shelves because that will take forever but with a little bit of camera magic, if I don't break everything, so there's the shelves now and ta-da! There we go. Uh, as you can see, coat the mirror in uh, paper from Amazon wrapping, uh, coat the glass of the shower in, again, cardboard box, plastic bags over the shower bits, uh, masking tape over literally every surface that's coming off there, and over the toilet and on the floor, got my plastic sheeting. Okay, so the next step is just to mix the paint and whack it on the walls. Dead, dead simple. You can see I've also removed the shelves there as well. Uh, just be careful going round edges. Um, use the rollers for the big bits, like on the sides of the top of the wall there, and on the sides here where I can, and then in the corners, get your brush and finish it off. So we'll have a look at what it looks like afterwards. Okay, so now we're giving it the first coat of paint, and as you can see, all over the walls. So the idea is that you use the roller part on the large sections of wall, like up here, uh, and use paint brushes to get into the detailing, like down in the side here, okay, uh, and all around the edges. Now my advice is start with the brush and go into the corners first of all, and do kind of along the corners, along the edges, all the way down the sides, and then after you've done that, then go over with the roller, uh, and then when it's dry, after an hour or two, which is this is, this is, it's only had the, uh, the first coat. You see maybe just about in some places, like up in the corner, up there, it's not quite dry yet. But after you've let it dry for a couple of hours, then go and give it a second coat to make sure everything is, is, is really, uh, really a uniform color. You notice, very hard to see, but in the corners here, for example, you can see it's not quite the right color. You can see where the shelving was, you can just see the edging where that was, so another coat should get rid of that. Um, the other thing that I forgot to do though, was down the back of the radiator, so I'm going to have to lift the radiator off. This is a new build, so I should be able to just lift the radiator off, and drop it to one side, and then rest it on my knees, essentially, and paint down the back of it. Um, and then that should be a good one, so the next time, hopefully, we'll have all this off, and we'll be able to have a nice look. Right. And so there's the complete uh, version, all nicely painted now. Um, all the tape removed from the edges, 
the fittings put back on uh, and although I left the uh, bag on the towel so all nicely on the shower I should say all nicely painted none on the edges I might have to go around the edges and scrape off a little bit uh, you use your fingernail or a bit of a, a scour or something like that just be careful about the surfaces um, and that's basically it when you finish you need to make sure you clean your brushes uh, and you can do that just by putting them in a sink of water and that will clean them off uh, and then once you've done that um, you probably take quite a lot of rinsing leave them to dry if you've got a normal brush do that with a uh, an elastic band around it maybe to keep it together but it's it's not that simple obviously um, this isn't maybe as good as a professional would do it but it's still pretty good it saved me some cash oh need to put on the blinds forgot about them uh, anyway uh, any questions please let me know um, any comments please leave them in the box down below uh, and I look forward to seeing you soon bye bye